What's good everybody, Hip Hop List Daily here with a brand new video. Today we are back in Chicago, but this time on the east side. We are visiting the neighborhood called Terror Town, where two teens are becoming friends without knowing that the whole city will know them. From the gritty streets to the top of the charts, these two childhood friends turned rap sensations have a story that's as real as it gets. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's unravel the journey of G Herbo and Lil Bibby. From the Windy City to worldwide fame, let's get into it. In the heart of Chicago, where the city's rhythm echoes the struggles of its residents, South Shore emerges as a testament to the resilience forged in the crucible of urban challenges. The year is 1994, and our narrative unfolds on the corner of 77th and Phillips. Here, a chapter of destiny is written as Brandon George Dickinson Jr. takes his first breath, destined to be known as Lil Bibby. The backdrop of the 90s in Chicago is one of gritty realities. And for Bibby's mother, a single parent facing insurmountable odds, life becomes a relentless struggle. Unable to cope, she succumbs to the clutches of crack cocaine, leaving her four children, Brandon, Sean, George, and their elder sister Lily, alone. Enter Lily, a street-smart guardian navigating the unforgiving landscape of Chicago's South Side. Despite her own journey through the streets, Lily becomes the guiding force, educating and raising her brothers amidst the chaos. As Bibby observes his sister's street wisdom, he begins to absorb the harsh lessons of survival. The streets of Chicago become his classroom, and Lily's resilience his textbook. Yet, the challenges of their household persist, pushing Bibby to seek solace in the very streets that claimed his mother. He transforms from a troubled youth to a formidable figure, a bully and drug dealer entangled in the complexities of urban life. But the streets exact their toll, leading to frequent arrests and a life veering towards an inevitable dead end. In a pivotal moment, Bibby makes a life-altering decision. Seeking refuge from the street's relentless grip, he stumbles upon a Chicago youth center, drawn by the allure of basketball. Little does Bibby know, this seemingly ordinary decision becomes the catalyst for change. The basketball court, a sanctuary from street strife, becomes the canvas where Bibby starts to repaint his destiny. As he embraces this unexpected twist of fate, a new path unfolds, one that steers him away from the streets and toward a future filled with promise. In the heart of South Shore, a year later in 1995, the rhythmic beat of the city welcomes a new life. Herbert Randall Wright III, destined to be known as G. Herbo, in stark contrast to the narrative of broken homes that often defines his surroundings. Herbo is raised in a two-parent household, offering him a semblance of stability in the tumultuous neighborhood. However, the gravitational pull of the streets proves strong, and growing up in a gang-infested area, Herbo finds himself entangled with the wrong crowd. Driven by the allure of the gang lifestyle and aspirations of becoming a drug dealer, Herbo's trajectory seems set, yet amidst the shadows of the streets, a flicker of passion for music emerges, an element that will later shape his destiny in ways unimaginable. Herb's parents, ever watchful, witness their son's descent into the streets. Recognizing the perilous path ahead, his father, Herbert Randall Wright II, intervenes. Believing that sports could be a lifeline to a better environment, he enrolls Herbo in a local Chicago youth center, igniting a pivotal chapter in the young rapper's life. Enter the universe's serendipity. Herbo finds himself in the same youth center program as Lil Bibby, a year his senior, but bound by the shared landscape of South Shore. As the two navigate the challenges of the older teens program, a bond forms, cemented by their common roots and aspirations. In this crucible of shared experiences, Herb and Bibby discover a shared passion for music, an unspoken language that transcends the confines of their neighborhood. Armed with nothing but flip phones and an unyielding determination, they embark on a journey of musical collaboration, recording their early creations as the cityscape echoes with the stories they are yet to tell. In the unforgiving streets of South Shore, life carved its path with hardships and challenges that Herb and Bibby couldn't ignore as they journeyed through the labyrinth of their neighborhood. As the duo matured, the harsh realities of their environment unfolded before them. For Bibby, the descent into the streets deepened as his mother's struggles with addiction escalated, leaving a financial void that demanded a response. Faced with the pressing need to make ends meet, Bibby embraced the hustle immersing himself in the 24-7 grind of street life by the tender age of 14. However, the streets were a double-edged sword, repeatedly ensnaring Bibby in the clutches of law enforcement. 
Each arrest became a sobering reminder of the necessity to break free from the cycle that threatened to consume him entirely. Simultaneously, Herbo faced the brutal consequences of street life firsthand, surviving a gunshot to the leg and narrowly avoiding a fatal fate with a bullet hole in his hat. A stark reminder of the fragility of existence. The backdrop of their neighborhood wasn't just a witness to personal struggles, it was embroiled in a larger war between hoods claiming the lives of friends, and compounding the urgency for change. In the face of adversity, Herb and Bibby made a pact. They would channel their pain, experiences, and aspirations into music, an escape route from the suffocating grip of South Shore. The journey began with humble flip phone recordings that caught the attention of a friend. Recognizing the raw talent within Bibby, this friend ushered them into a studio, a pivotal moment that would alter the trajectory of their lives. Bibby, remembering his brother in the midst of this transformation, brought Herb along for the ride. In 2012, they took their first step into the music scene with a remix of Meek Mill's Imma Boss. While not an instant sensation, it marked the commencement of a relentless pursuit of their dreams. The breakthrough came with the release of Kill Shit, a Chicago anthem that resonated far beyond their city limits. Their evolution was rapid, navigating the intricate landscape of the music industry. And soon, the world recognized the authenticity and talent they brought to the table. Against all odds, Herb and Bibby transcended the boundaries of South Shore, realizing their dreams on a global stage. Theirs is a tale of inspiration, a testament to resilience, determination, and the transformative power of music that propelled them from the bottom to the summit of success. Today, Herbo stands as a towering figure in the rap industry, while Bibby, once a street hustler, has ascended to the role of an executive, shaping the future of the very industry that became their escape. As we conclude our exploration into the lives of G. Herbo and Lil Bibby, we've witnessed a journey from the streets of South Shore to global recognition. Their stories are a testament to resilience, the transformative power of music, and the enduring strength of friendship. May the trials and triumphs of Herbo and Bibby serve as inspiration on your own journey. Like, share, and subscribe for more stories from the music world. Remember, the path to success is uniquely yours. Keep chasing your dreams. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, stay inspired.